welcome back children and let us move back to the world of literature into the world of shakespeare where he was so he has compared the world with that of a stage and we had completed uh, three stages of human life let us move forward with the fourth stage here after we move on to the fourth and the most smart stage of a person's life where shakespeare calls that stage a soldier stage by soldier it does not literally mean the one who goes and joins the country's army it precisely means a stage where you can do anything for a sake of reputation be it your own reputation be it the reputation of your family or be that of your country like a soldier does but for the sake of your reputation you fight you go along to any extent and you defend your loved ones let us see the lines for the fourth stage then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like the pard jealous in honor sudden and quick in quarrel seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth the fourth stage is that of a soldier where life is full of obligations commitments compliances oaths and vows etc this stage william shakespeare says that a person becomes like a soldier get bearded like a pard that is a leopard a bearded animal a soldier is supposed to be beard at that time during shakespeare's time beard was a sign of manliness braveliness with young blood where you have to achieve big things in life have big dreams and you want to fight for your reputation so full of strange oaths he makes promises to himself he decides upon himself jealous in honor he cannot tolerate anybody saying anything against the country and he can go to any extent of the court example of the parents how they struggle to meet both ends meet for the family so uh, that is what the fourth stage talks about where he endlessly fights the man endlessly fights for his honor a full presence of mind which is sudden and quick in quarrel and hard to maintain a dignified reputation seeking the bubble reputation the line seeking the bubble reputation the word bubble has been tagged or written along with the word reputation here i would like to draw your attention to this it is been called a bubble reputation why because reputation is a very short lived things for example today you are a good student and you have a reputation of being very regular and an obedient student but tomorrow you stop coming to your class do not complete your assignments what happen the reputation changes your reputation then becomes from a good student to not so good student and this is as short lived as a bubble till the time the bubble has air it is there and then it can burst any time whereas character is a long lived thing and when we are young we don't realize it and we go to all the extreme fights for the sake of the reputation and then he says even when the soldier is facing the enemy and even when he has to stand in front of the cannon's mouth even when he knows that he is going to be blown up 
he will still fight for the sake of reputation for the country and that reputation is the is in the hands of our soldiers and then we move on to the fifth stage shakespeare here says that the fifth stage is that of a justice it talks about the people who are wise after you pass your youth you become more experienced you become more wise let us see the lines and then the justice in fair round belly with good coupon lined with eyes severe and beard of formal cut full of wise saws and modern instances and so he plays his part the fifth stage is the adult stage so the fifth stage concerns about the justice where the person becomes a middle aged where person has experience has a fair round belly he has put on weight and he look healthy and with good coupon line means your coupon line means the cock that the judges wear means your कहने का तात्पर्य हाउ ही बिकम्स लिटिल सीरियस और कंसर्न अबाउट वॉट ही इज वेरिंग नॉट मच बट स्टिल पर्टिकुलर सॉर्ट ऑफ ड्रेसिंग सेंस एक पर्टिकुलर सॉर्ट ऑफ ड्रेसिंग सेंस ही टेक्स अप वेर द मैन बिकम सीरियस एंड थ्रू हिज एक्सपीरियंस ही शेयर हिज एक्सपीरियंस दैट इज वॉट द सेंटेंस इज विद आई सीवियर एंड bird of formal cuts means here it talks about the serious look of his life and through his experience he shares and is full of wise instances uske bas kafi sara usne seekha hai jana hai samjha hai duniya dekhi hai and he had lots of experiences there and modern saws modern saws uh, tends to share experience he tends to share experience or kyun wo experience apna share karna chahta hai not to for the show off ya apne aap ko show off karne ke liye nahi balki for the benefit of other because he has gained experience and he had learned from his experience so he is much he can explain better differences between the good and the bad so negative points and positive points he is much aware of it so he through his experience he would like to help others that is what the fifth stage talks about then comes the sixth stage it can be called as the beginning of old age let's see the lines the sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon with spectacles on nose and pouch on side his youthful hose well saved a world too wide for his shrunk sank and his big manly voice turning again towards childish treble pipes and the whistles in his sound well they say old age is person's second childhood his body gets physically shrink digestive system become weak overall personality become weak and slowly once again we feel dependent like a child in his loose trousers and slippers see the line there into the lean and slippered pantaloon that means it is talking about his dressing sense usse koi fark nahi padta abhi ki wo kya pehn raha hai kaise pehn raha hai fitting hai ya nahi hai proper dress ke hisab se matching shoes sandal hai ya nahi doesn't matter it means person at this stage does not care much about his dressing sense or his looks he has a weak eyesight shrill voice like a child with little or few teeth dheere dheere daant tootne lagte hain आवाज में चेंजेस आती है आई साइट कमजोर होने लगती है एंड लुक्स सिली एंड फुलिश यानी जो व्रिंकल्स आने लगते हैं फेस पर द मैनली एंड कमांडिंग वॉइस जो कभी 
दमदार आवाज हुई कर हुआ करती थी वो अब क्या हो रही है धीरे धीरे कमजोर पड़ रही है एंड वॉइस बिकम वीक एंड चेंज इन टू चाइल्डिस ट्रिबल ट्रिबल इज अ पर्टिकुलर चाइल्ड वेरी चाइल्डिस वॉइस क्वालिटी ऑफ अ म्यूजिक एंड इज अ मैटर ऑफ शिलनेस इन अ पर्सन वॉइस देन सेज ही फर्दर सेज पाइप्स एंड व्हील्स pipes and wheels in his sound yani awaaz mujhe awaaz nikalna but practically ya uh, what we say jaanboojh kar nahi nikalte but nikal jati hai baat karte karte whistle sound nikalna is tarah se it means when a person becomes old because the person loses his teeth aur wo kyun aati hai that is the reason he says because when the person loses his teeth or because of the alignment of the teeth the commanding voice change into childish trill and he feels as if a whistling sound is coming and from his mouth when he speaks whereas it is not a whistle aise lagta hai aise mehsoos hota hai mano ki jaise whistle nikal rahi hai but it is not actually the whistle nahi nikal rahi but because his teeth are not there alignment of the teeth is not proper and because of that just because there is a gap between the teeth and when the person speaks he blows out air and that gives out a whistling sound this is not very good sight but yes it is an old age acha nahi lagta dekhne mein ya sunne mein but yes of course but that the fact it's a very old age and every old person face it and in the old age one has spectacle on the nose that is a line there with spectacles on nose and pouch on sides that it means due to old age due to poor eyesight the person may get spectacle and a pouch on the side you must have seen your grandparents you must have seen old people keeping their belongings very close to them because that gives them a sense of security that does uh, they don't want to let the people feel that they are dependent on other people they want to have their belongings like pen medicine spectacle close to them so as to feel secure but in the old age the person once again start turning toward childishness turning again toward childish trouble pipes and whistling in his sound that is what he says but in the old age a person once again start turning toward childishness in the terms of dependency he starts becoming dependent on others if is because he is physically weak and he eyesights are also very weak and in terms of emotions and so on let's see the lines for the last stage last scene of all that ends this strange eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion sa teeth sa eyes sa taste sa everything so after the old age we have the last stage of all that ends this eventful history we call it the eventful history because every person undergoes hell of his experience in one's life and those experience are there in the form of events good events bad events sometimes nice that happened in life surprising shocks and within the collection of these events the person views a life and this strange eventful history so that is why say the whole life if once happens to cross all these six stages and by the time he enters into the seventh stage us person ke liye ye ek eventful history hai because he has undergone all sort of experiences and that experiences are nothing but in the form of events kabhi achhe events kabhi bure events and that is why this the poet is calling this stage as an eventful historical stages that he has gone through it is strange it all the poet also called this stage as a strange stage because life is unbelievable life is unbelievable 
once you become old and once you look back at your life you feel and you realize what all have you undergone what all have you gone through and therefore it became unbelievable and eventful isliye because we undergo so many events in our life and history why do we it called it why he is calling it as a history because that is past because ye sare stages are past hain and now that man has cross all these six stages and have entered into the seventh stage and that is why it is a history here the person hardly remembers his own self the people around him and become as dependent as a child this is what the last stage mein hardly use kuch yaad rehta hai ya hardly use kuch dikhai deta hai hardly uski koi pehchan hoti hai kisi se and all these things and people around and he is totally totally dependent as a child on the in the first stage see that is the sound weak eyesight not being able to eat anything which khane nahi hota hai because there is no teeth left in the mouth jaws there then sa everything means nothing is there but here but because it but uh, sa everything is very meaningful term here because it particularly means to you your family friend beloved to the people who have been around you you may be or may not be there with you they may be or they may not be there with you at that time you become very very old and this is the time ye wo time hota hai jahan pe humne apni zindagi jee li hoti hai to insaan ne apni zindagi jee li hoti hai that is what it says and this is the time when you have actually lived your life and then you are not left with any more desires or wishes and without anything with you ना आपके पास कुछ रहता है ना ही आपकी कोई ख्वाहिशें रहती है कोई डिजायर रहती है ना कुछ एंड दैट इज वॉट हाउ द होल पोएम दैट इज वॉट द बिगनिंग स्टांजा इफ यू रिकलेक्ट देन दैट द होल होल वर्ल्ड इज अ स्टेज वेर वी आर जस्ट आवर एग्जिस्ट एंट्री एंड एग्जिस्ट आर प्लान एंड दैट इज वॉट इट से इज द पर्सन कम्स टू बर्थ कम्स ऑन द स्टेज performs various roles and then by, uh, by because of the death or due to that it is a exist person comes on stage perform his part and had an exist this ends our poem and the seven stages that the person undergoes in his or her life these stages have been defined centuries back but even today all of them hold good because the person's life shakespeare through this poem wants to render a message to the human being that all we all human being are just characters in the drama of life why the just characters because we play our lives and we depart from the world like at birth we enter the stage all through our life we play various roles that comes to us and then by the time of death we exist from the stage thus man possesses through seven phases of life in accordance with their age and what did we realize or uh, what we could conclude again from this poem is that shakespeare in the poem has given a sad but ironical portrayal of human life his analysis of man's life is in seven stages is full of similes his description of the life of man from birth to death is quite appealing so that's all for the poem thank you please go through the poem and go through the video try to understand it again in a better way and instead if you have any doubt regarding the poem do note down and keep it in the next lecture you can ask me or you can contact me for the doubts and in the next lecture we will discuss about the figures of speech of the poem thank you